1 Samuel 17 from verse 34. 1 Samuel 17 from 34. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. Let me read that again. 1 Samuel 17 from 34. 1 Samuel 17 from 34. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. People of God, like I said to you, we are doing spiritual warfare. Like I have mentioned, I don't know how many days, but whatever days. I know one thing that victory has been given to you as a child of, as a child of God. But nevertheless, you are not meant to fold your hands. In the book of uh, 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 Sam, uh, is it Samuel? Yeah, I think it's Second Samuel. The Bible talks about David coming back from Ziglag and getting to Ziglag. Ziglag has been burned down to fire uh, with fire, and David wept until he has no more power to weep. While David was weeping, nothing changed. And at the end of the day, David encouraged himself in the Lord is God. And the Bible says he asked of the Lord, "Shall I pursue?" And God said, "Go ahead." that you shall surely recover all. Why am I going into that scripture after reading the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17 from verse 34? One of the things that I want you to know about the devil is, is that he has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And when you look at the scripture that we read, the lion and the bear came. They didn't go for the big uh, cat, uh, uh, sheep. They went for the lamb, which is the tomorrow. The devil knows that today he can't do anything about it, that you have already seen today. And so every fight that the devil is bringing to your doorstep is about your tomorrow. And when you remember most of the time that we sing, Because he live, I can face tomorrow. Why? Because he live, I can face tomorrow. And that's why the devil is also after your tomorrow. And by God, the devil will sure fail woefully in the name of Jesus. I don't know what the devil is fighting in your life right now, but I can boldly say to you, he's after your tomorrow because there is an handwriting over you that the devil does not understand. There is an handwriting over you that the devil cannot decode. There is an handwriting over you that is also scaring the devil. And that's why the devil is always going out, looking for whom to devour. And when the devil managed to secure your tomorrow, that's au revoir, hasta la vista, comment tapetu. Except there is a divine intervention from the throne of grace. The lion came into the into the flock. He didn't go for the stronger or the bigger one. He went for the lamb, the tender one, because that is the tomorrow. And the Bible says, David went after the lion and the bear. So you've got to go after the devil today to secure your tomorrow today. You are going to do what? Secure your tomorrow. When? Today. You're going to secure your tomorrow today. Secure your tomorrow today. When you look at the life of Jesus, Jesus already know that by the time the devil tried to kill him, his tomorrow is secure because resurrection is going to take place. And if the devil understand that, do you think he's going to kill Jesus? No. He will have looked for another way to stop resurrection from happening. When you look at the life of that same David, David the tomorrow of David is that the anointing of the king is upon David to lead the people of God to victory. 
And the devil realized this, and that's why you see that Goliath tried to stop David, he failed. Saul, a man that also received an anointing, or uh, put every effort into it to stop David from becoming that king, he also failed. And I've come to declare to you, I've come to declare over your children. I've come to declare over all that God has given unto you. I don't know the power that is fighting your tomorrow. But because the devil fell over David, the devil fell over Joseph, the devil fell over Daniel, the devil fell over Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the devil will sure fail over you in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. But you've got to go all the way after your tomorrow. You have to secure your tomorrow today. The Bible says David was narrating the ordeal to the king. And he said, the, the lion rise against me. Have you forgotten? The Bible says it's like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. It's not the lion. It's like... And thank God that you have the lion of the tribe of Judah. El Shaddai is on your side. Adonai is your Jehovah. Hey, king of all king. The one that reigns supreme. Have you forgotten the name he called himself? He said, I am Jehovah Sabaoth. The one that is great in battle. So I don't know the battle the devil is bringing to your way right now. Or has brought into your life. It's all about your tomorrow. What did I say? It's all about your tomorrow. That's the more reason why you have to secure your tomorrow today. Don't wait for your tomorrow to secure your tomorrow. You've got to secure your tomorrow today. And by the power of resurrection, ability to secure your tomorrow, empowerment to secure your tomorrow, power to secure your tomorrow, wisdom to secure your tomorrow, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I stand in agreement with you right now. As a child of the Most High, the Bible says one of us will change a thousand. And it says two will change ten thousand. So we stand in agreement upon the word of the Most High because his words are yes and amen. The power to secure your tomorrow. Power to go after the lion and the bear that has already snatched the lamp out of your flock. They have snatched your tomorrow. What will become your tomorrow has been snatched. Today receive that power to go after. And that's why I gave you an example about David coming back to Ziglag. And all David can do or could do was just to cry and cry. And the Bible says he cried so hard that the people spake of stoning him. And while the people were thinking of stoning him, that did not give them any solution or any 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 uh, 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 solve the matter. But the, the moment David encouraged him, serving the Lord is God. God speak to David. Say, go after it. Go after your tomorrow. Go after your tomorrow. Go after your tomorrow. Go and secure your tomorrow. Go and secure your tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Go after your tomorrow. Go and secure your tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Go after your tomorrow. Secure your tomorrow. Why do you think that the devil is fighting your fruitfulness? It's about your tomorrow. Why do you think the devil is fighting your finances? It's about your tomorrow. Why do you think the devil wants to turn that man in your life into a non-entity? It's about your tomorrow. Why do you think the devil is going all the way after your children? It's about your tomorrow. The devil knows that he cannot defeat you today. So he's waiting for your tomorrow. Every foul power waiting for your tomorrow that has entered into the flock to snatch the lamb. In the name of Jesus, I come against that power. I nullify that power. I stand upon the word of God in agreement with you that that power shall sure fail right now in the name of Jesus. David didn't fold his arms. He did not relegate himself and said, well, what can I do to this lion? He did not sit down to be crying. The Bible says he went after. Did you see what the scripture says? He said the lion rise against, against. The power that is rise, rising against you shall fall in the name of Jesus. Last week I showed you that they, they gather in Egypt for help and the helper. It is written that they shall fail. So this time around, the lion and the bear. How come 
the lion and the bear are now friends because they have one mission. They have one thing in common. They want to destroy your tomorrow. But by God, because Jesus lives, you will face your tomorrow. Your tomorrow will be greater than that of today. Your tomorrow will be greater and greater and greater and greater than that of today. The grace of God upon your tomorrow is so massive and unique. It's greater grace and greater power upon your tomorrow. And that's why you will get that to your tomorrow. Adonai will launch you into your tomorrow. Whatever design God has designed for you in your tomorrow, you will enter into it in the name of Jesus. This is not how your story is meant to end. Because there is a tomorrow over your life. There is a tomorrow concerning you. And I've come in the name that prevail over the affairs of man. That your tomorrow shall be secured in the name of Jesus. Your tomorrow shall be secured in the name of Jesus. Your tomorrow shall be secure in the name that prevail over the affairs of man. If you give back to a child today and the child start growing up, maybe at the age of seven or eight, and ask that child, what do you want to become? You see, when you ask the child that, what do you want to become? It's about the tomorrow. It's about what? The tomorrow of that child. By this time tomorrow, can you see that? It's also written in the Bible. By this time tomorrow, there shall be plenty. And somebody also rise to stop that prophetic word from coming to pass. But you know the end of the story. Nothing hindered the word of God from coming to pass. I don't know the word that has been spoken over you because of your tomorrow. But it shall come to pass. Every good word, every prophetic word spoken over you for your tomorrow shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. That's why I want you to begin to secure your tomorrow today. One of the things that I want you to see in that scripture is that the Bible says, David said, he grabbed the lion by the beard. That is the strength. He grabs, Because the jaw of the lion is so powerful. So by grabbing the lion by the beard, he has nullified the power that is in the strength, I mean the strength that is in the jaw of that lion from biting. So I want you to grab the lion by the bear. In other words, nullify the strength of that lion that is the devourer concerning you. Break the power of that devourer over you because your tomorrow shall be glorious. Your tomorrow shall be great in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Look at what the Bible says. I didn't make it up. Have you forgotten again that one day Samson also was just trolling somewhere and one non-entity lion just, you know, pounced on Samson from nowhere and Samson devoured the lion and inside that lion, out of the carcass of that lion comes honey. So I want you to secure your tomorrow so that the honey will also come out of your lion when you break the power and the jaws of the lion. By the grace of Jehovah, you will prevail in the name of Jesus. I declare you will prevail in the name of Jesus. I stand in agreement with you that you will sure prevail in the name of Jesus. I stand upon the word of God and I speak into your life right now. In the name of Jesus that you shall prevail. Your tomorrow shall be secure. Your tomorrow shall be secured in the name of Jesus. When you look at the present world that we live in, there is a saying that ah, you've got to save for tomorrow, isn't it? In places, in some places in Africa, when there is rain, they will have to get some containers out to, to receive the rain because they may not get that rain again in many days. So they have to preserve the water because of what? For tomorrow. And the devil know the power and the importance of tomorrow. Hey, but liberal satire gede 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 bolon to balababa. When you look at the life of Abraham, Abraham went down to Egypt. The first thing that was grabbing the life of Abraham was the wife. Okay, when that wife 
was seized. The promise of God over the life of Abraham that, okay, I will bless you and through you, the whole world will be blessed. How can that blessing then come to pass? What will have carried the blessing because of tomorrow has been seized. But you can see that there was a divine intervention. I don't know what is fighting your tomorrow right now, but I've been sent by the Most High that the power fighting your tomorrow shall be nullified. Yes, I'm speaking to you, that man. Yes, I'm speaking to you, that woman. Wherever you are watching this right now, wherever you are listening to this very word right now, that your tomorrow, there is something greater about you and about your tomorrow. That's why all hell is loose right now. But I've been sent by the Most High to tell you that your tomorrow shall be secured in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name that prevail over the affairs of man. You've got to secure your tomorrow. Folding arms does not do it. People of God, we're going to pray. We are going to pray for the next 10 seconds. I want you to get angry with yourself. I want you to be angry spiritually. Like some people will say, holy anger. <laughs> hey, whether this one is holy, whether it's not holy. I just want you to rise from the depth of your heart and look at the devil in the eyes and say to the devil, I'm taking my tomorrow back. I'm securing my tomorrow. David, a boy, went after the lion and the bear. Ha, Babali, the two of them, they have one thing in common. Their jaw is very, very strong. The two of them, they also have one thing in common. They have claws that is so powerful. And they went after the lion, but David retrieved the lion. Power to retrieve your tomorrow in the hands of the kingdom of darkness. Receive it right now. Receive it. Power to nullify the strength of the lion and the bear. Hey, over your life. Hey, Ribalobo, Receive that strength right now in the name of Jesus. Anointing to destroy the power of the lion and the bear over that floor, uh, sheep that has been snatched. Receive it. And it says, I retrieve it back from his mouth. I retrieve. That shows they didn't have power to kill. They did not succeed in killing because he said he retrieve, he retrieve. Ah, power to retrieve your tomorrow. Receive it now. Receive it. Many of us, we sit down because of broken dreams and we did not do anything. You see, this is what I say. If the foundation be destroyed, what can a righteous man do? <laughs> the only thing a righteous man can do is to wake up and go back to the foundation and start rebuilding. Before you know it, you will, re you will rebuild the foundation. Before you you know it, you will build something solid upon the foundation. Before you know it, the same foundation that has been destroyed has been rebuilt. When the wall of Jerusalem was destroyed, Nehemiah saw the vision. He caught the vision and he commanded people together. He brought people together. Hey, Balaka, in the hero Soto Bayaba. He said, let us go and rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. They did not just cry. They did not just fold your, their hands. They, even when opposition came, they use one hand to hold weapon and one hand to continue building. But adventure, there is need for you to hold your weapon in one hand. And per adventure, you will continue doing what you ought to do with another hand. Praise God. Just get on with it. Get on with it. Why did God give you two hands? Maybe it's because to hold the weapon on one hand and to build with another hand. So if the foundation be destroyed, what can a righteous man do? I've come to tell you, a righteous man Man will rise. A righteous man will stand. A righteous man will rise and start rebuilding the foundation because of the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Your tomorrow must be secured. Your tomorrow must not be in the hands of the lion and the bear. The lamb was taken, snatched from the midst of the flocks. Hey, but David did not fold his arms. People of God, in the next 10 seconds, if you like to read, I feel like, like praying. And I feel like saying and showing you the scripture. If you love to read Psalm 91 and Psalm 20, in the next 10 seconds, send me a text 07940-796-452. Let us pray.
I want us to pray. I want us to pray in the next 10 seconds. You want us... I want us to pray. Your tomorrow must be secure. Your tomorrow must be secure when? Today. And that's why, see, many people die before their time. It's as a result of what will have come before uh, in their tomorrow. And the devil will come and kill them before that tomorrow comes. I was reading a, a sad story recently. A young boy, a brilliant boy in America, African-American, very brilliant. They just diagnosed the boy of one deadly cancer. And they said, at this stage, he's got a few days to, to, to leave. Probably, I think, three months or so. And you know what the school did? The school said the boy is so brilliant that if there is anything he will achieve on the face of the earth, he must finish his diploma before dying. They fast forward his own date of graduation so that he can finish and he can graduate. And then the rest will then graduate late, later since he's going to die anyway. So they fast forward his tomorrow that, okay, you are brilliant, but death has come to snatch you before even finishing uh, high school. So let's bring your own day of graduation forward. And the boy graduated. And few, few days, I think, I think few weeks after the graduation, he passed on. But there was one achievement in the life of that boy. So regardless of the intellect and uh, uh, IQ that God has given him, he was able to achieve one thing on the face of the earth through the help of the school. I've come to tell you that heaven is waiting now to release help so that you can secure your tomorrow. You want to read Psalm 91? Psalm 91, quickly. I don't know our time is far gone. Send me a text. Psalm 91, and if nobody is sending any text, I can forfeit it and go on. It doesn't cost me anything. Psalm 91 and Psalm 20. I wait for your text right now in the next 10 seconds. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, Psalm 91, Psalm 20. If you want to read, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. The to, if your tomorrow is not important, there will not be any song composed and say, because he live, I can face tomorrow. And when you look at that song, it says, because he live, who lives? He's talking about Messiah, Jesus. He died on the cross of Calvary and he resurrected. Supposing that did not happen, what are you going to say about your tomorrow? That's au revoir. Hasta la vista. Come on, tape two. People of God, I wait for your text right now. Who is there? Let's quickly get on with it. We only have 10 seconds to go. 10 seconds. Oh, my God. The devil is a, is a liar and he will surely fail over you, over everything that belongs to you. The devil shall fail woefully in the name of Jesus. Yes, uh, Balumi, I wait for your, you want to read. What do you want to read? Okay, 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 that's right. Okay, in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to call you so that your mom can read Psalm 20. Yeah, Balumi, Psalm, Psalm 91, quickly. Let's quickly get on with it and go. We only have 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. We have 10 seconds so that we can pray. Our tomorrow must be secured. <laughs> the devil will fail. Hey, but so if the devil fell over David, if the devil fell over Joseph and Shadrach, Pesach, and Abednego, if the devil fell over Abraham, thank God that Abraham has become the cloud of witness right now. David and the rest has become a cloud of witness. So the devil will sure fail over you in the name of Jesus. Yes, hello, good morning. fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. For thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the herd that flyeth by day. Amen. Nor, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, Amen. nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Amen. A thousand shall fall at the sight, and ten thousand at thy right hand. Amen. But it shall not come near thee. Only with thy eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Amen. Because thou, 
Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, their habitation. Amen. There shall no evil befall thee, Amen. neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. Amen. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all their ways. Amen. They shall bear thee upon upon they shall bear thee up in their hands, Amen. and thou dash their foot against the stone. Amen. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the other, Amen. the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on the feet. Amen. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. Amen. I will set him on high because he he bath he have known my name. Amen. He shall he shall call upon me and I will answer him. Amen. And I will, and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Amen. With long life will I satisfy him. Amen. And share him my salvation. Amen and amen. Thank you. The Lord bless you and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, I'm twenty. I'm waiting for Psalm 20. In the next 10 seconds, we're waiting right now. Psalm 20. Psalm 20, Psalm 20, Psalm 20. Let's quickly get on with it so that we can have about 10 seconds of prayer. Hello, Psalm 20. Okay, me, I'm waiting. Shall I go on? Oh, Jehovah. If I start praying now, I won't take the call anymore. Hello? Yeah, hello. We sent a text to that we want to read Psalm 20. Please, go ahead. Yeah. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. Amen. May, may the name of the God of Jacob protect you. Amen. May he send you help from the sanctuary. Amen. And give you support from Zion. Amen. May he remember all your offerings. Amen. And regard with favor your bond sacrifice. Amen. May he grant you your heart's desire. Amen. And fulfill all your plans. Amen. May we shout for joy over your salvation. Amen. And in the name of our God, set up our banners. Amen. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Amen. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. Amen. He will answer him from his holy heaven. Amen. With the saving might of his right hand. Amen. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall, but we rise and stand upright. Amen. Oh Lord, save the king. May he answer us when we call. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. The Lord bless you and honor you and your household in Jesus' name. Father, we want to thank you for this day. We appreciate you because your words are yea and amen. And so we come before the throne of grace, Lord, that the spoken word that has become written for us, that is now in the scripture that we read, the script and the creature. We have seen your word today and we declare by the power of resurrection that every written word, hey, that your children have opened their mouth to read into our ears. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Every word letter by letter, it shall come to pass. Lord, Psalm 91 shall be fulfilled. Psalm 20 shall be established in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the most high. Lord to the glory of God we have heard and we declare it shall be so. So be it unto us according to the word of the most high. So be it unto us according to your word. So be it unto us according to your word. So be it unto us according to your word. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. People of God, you know it is our custom 
that before we seek and ask for anything, according to the book of Luke chapter 11, the book of Luke chapter 11 says, When you pray, say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. As a representative of that kingdom, wherever you are right now, I just want you to begin to declare that, Lord, thy kingdom reign. Over the affairs of my life, let your kingdom reign. In the name of Jesus, let your kingdom reign. In the name of Jesus, thy kingdom come. In the name of Jesus, Lord, concerning my life, your kingdom will sure advance. In the name of Jesus, concerning my children, thy kingdom will sure advance. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, because you live her. You died on the cross of Calvary that I may have life and have it abundantly. Lord, by your power, by your word, by your strength, your kingdom is established in my home. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thy will be done, Jehovah. Thy will be done, Adonai. Regardless of what it is, thy will be done. In the name of Jesus, your will alone be done. Thy kingdom come, thy kingdom reign, thy kingdom come. In the name of Jesus, thy will be done. That your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. People of God, we want to go back to that scripture. And we're going to pray. I want you to see again. Let me show you. Look at the book of uh, uh, Samuel, 1 Samuel 17, 34. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock. What was taken was the tomorrow out of the flock. But one of the things that I want you to see here is that the Bible says took a, 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 that shows is one. I don't know what day out of your tomorrow has been taken, but we want to go after it and take it back <laughs> because we have to secure our tomorrow. When? Today. If you do not secure your tomorrow today, it's like you did not put any money in the bank. Can you walk to the bank and write a check and say, let me have 1,000 pounds? Can you do that? <laughs> hey, hey, regardless of your faith, you can't. It can never happen. You can only walk into the bank because of the deposit that you have already made in the bank. And you can then write a check and say, yes, I have 10,000 in this bank. Can you let me have 1,000 pounds out of my 10,000? And you will see that no questions asked. They will gladly receive the check and give you your 1,000 pounds. And whatever cashier that, did the, that, that, did the, uh, that will do the transaction, we also do it with smile. So that's, that, that's about you putting something in so that you can get something out. And when you look at the lamb, this lamb, the lamb was born by maybe the mama sheep or the papa sheep. But at the end of the day, the lion did not go for the papa sheep. He didn't go for the mama sheep. He went for the tender sheep, the tomorrow. Hmm. Lord, I come in the name of Jesus. Ability to secure my tomorrow today, I receive. I snatch my tomorrow from the mouth of the lion in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the devil has come to kill, to seal, and to destroy. The roaring lion, like a roaring lion. It's not the roaring lion, but it's like. I snatch my tomorrow back today in the name of Jesus. I retrieve my tomorrow by the power of resurrection. And I declare that my tomorrow is secure in you. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever power that has come after your tomorrow, 
we break the backbone of that power right now. Don't forget we are praying together. Well, I'm praying with you. You are praying with me. We are praying together. So we must stand in agreement. We break the backbone of the power that has come to snatch your tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, the backbone of the power that has come to devour your tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, by the by, Lord, bless so bright here. When the devil deceived Abraham, I said Abraham, Adam, when the devil deceived Adam and Eve in the garden, where God has already secured for them, they were driven out. I've come in the name of Jesus that every deceit of the devil concerning your tomorrow is thereby nullified, is thereby broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. But Lord, bless you. I secure your tomorrow by the power of resurrection. I secure your tomorrow by the power of resurrection. What about Lombard? I don't know the handwriting God has written over your tomorrow. But don't forget my thought towards you, a thought of good and not of evil, to bring you to an expected end, which is also your tomorrow. I come against every power fighting my tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Every power fighting my tomorrow. Because of the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Because of the power that is in the blood of Jesus. I stand against every power fighting my tomorrow. I stand against the power of the lion and the bear. I grab them by the, by the beard. I destroy the strength that the power of the kingdom of darkness is using over my tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. If there is nothing good about your tomorrow, I believe God will not even keep you here on the face of the earth. But there is something glorious about your tomorrow. The devil cannot see it. The devil does not know what is in stock. But you see, the devil has one thing. He is a devil that does not give up. And that's why God also commands you men always to pray and not to faint. I come in the name of Jesus. I don't know what day that has been snatched concerning your tomorrow. But by the power of resurrection, we are taking it back. In the name of Jesus. David came back to Ziglag. All David has worked for and labored for all his life has been taken away. So no more tomorrow. The next thing is let me die. The People are even speaking of stoning me. I have nothing to live for anymore. But God said, Rise up. Go after it and take your tomorrow back. In the name of Jesus, we break the power that is on an errand to seize your tomorrow. We stand against that power. We barricade that power. In the name of Jesus. There is a name that is above every other name. Another mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Christ Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. Have you forgotten in the Bible? Jesus said to Peter, He said, The devil has, has planned to own you. He says, But I have prayed for you that your faith faileth not. He's talking about his tomorrow. <laughs> Uphold me, Jehovah. Uphold my home. In the name of Jesus. Open 
open your mouth and begin to pray. Resete ye 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 ye. Rapa shata bala baba. Ambadi de re. Rapa tokoto bala de debo. In the name of Jesus. Whatever balo prati te te te. Iba so prati ata bala ba. He prayed for Peter. Eh ba 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 libra to bara ba. Ira ba da ba din de 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 de. Eh bra to bra di bala bra. The prophet of God. The king said, go and cut off the head. The prophet prophesied, said, by this time tomorrow, when you read your Bible very well, the language of Saul to men of Jabesh Gilead is, by this time tomorrow, when the sun be hot, you shall have help. You see, there is something spectacular about your tomorrow. I don't know the significance or whatever it is that God wants to do about your tomorrow. But I know God wants to do something greater, something higher, something powerful about your tomorrow. And that's why the lion and the bear has come to snatch your tomorrow. But no, because in him we live, in him we move, in him we have our being. Labraba, secure your tomorrow today in the name of Jesus. Secure your tomorrow today in the name of Jesus. By the power that is in the blood of Jesus, I secure my tomorrow. I secure my tomorrow in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank God we have a name. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Maybe there is, there is something that is meant to be fulfilled concerning your tomorrow. And the devil is fighting you today. It's not because of today. It's because of your tomorrow. Maybe there are things you are yet to see as fulfillment. I come in the name that is above every other name. I come in the name of Jesus. Jesus, the lion of the tribe of Judah. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The lion of the tribe of Judah. I nullify the power power fighting your tomorrow. I break the yoke of that power fighting your tomorrow. The power on an errand to seize your tomorrow is hereby broken into pieces. The power that has gone down to Egypt to seek for help. Because of your tomorrow, is hereby nullify, is hereby destroy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your name is higher than any other name. Open your mouth and declare over your tomorrow. You know, but Robert, in the declare over your tomorrow by labra the devil fell baba hey over your tomorrow and so is his host over your tomorrow reba so i retrieve your tomorrow back from the hands of the opposition in the name of jesus begin to retrieve it right power and the ability to take it back take it back take it back to secure it now in the name of jesus to secure your tomorrow now in the name of jesus in the mighty name that prevail over the affairs of man. I beg of you to pray. When David was in the midst of this calamity and this situation, hey, he didn't see anybody. But Adonai gave him a unique power. Adonai empower David ask God to empower you right now empowerment Lord to secure my tomorrow today in the name of Jesus if your tomorrow is secure that's when you can enter into fulfillment but if there is no tomorrow there is no fulfillment in the name of Jesus in 
in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God preserve your life so that your dream can collide with somebody. Hey, and before you realize, hey, you have been launched into the greater height for the sake of the kingdom. But the devil didn't know this. But the devil know that there is something unique about you. And that's why he's fighting your tomorrow. Did you not see that he fought the tomorrow? Now, the last week prayer is there right now. You can download it. You can listen to it there. Just find your way through there how to do the downloading. I think it's an easy, it's an easy website, so it's not difficult. And like I said, if I do have your, if I have your email, be expecting that the link is going to be sent into your email account. If I don't, which I don't know, my wife is the one that does the. Um, the keeping of all the emails and the rest. So I'm going to ask her if we have all the emails that we have in our data is going to be forwarded to them so that you can listen to it and pray in the comfort of your home. This is the basic principle of God establishing this so that you can pray in the comfort of your home. And there is no... Uh, but what am I going? What am I going to pray for? That is not in the matter anymore. <clears throat> Excuse me, because now you know what to pray for. You know it's about the word of God and the mind of God. So once you can see the mind of God, to pray the mind of God is easy. But if you can't see the word of God, how can you pray the mind of God? So, if you like, you can forward your email uh, address. So my phone with Viber, with um, um, uh, WhatsApp, with text, and also with BB. So my prayer is that your tomorrow shall be secured in the name of Jesus. Your tomorrow shall be secured in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing will snatch your tomorrow from your hands anymore. And God gave you that tomorrow so that his fulfillment can come upon your life and it shall be secured in the name of Jesus. Before I go, I want to say a very big thank you to all of you that has given towards the Zambia project, the clothing, the bag and the money for for the freight. The Lord bless you and honor you. It's going to go this uh, new week we are about to enter. My wife has done all the arrangements so they come in to pick it up. To the glory of God. And we've been told it's going to take about seven working days maximum. Seven working days, yeah. So not including uh, fr uh, Saturday and Sunday. So if they come on Monday, so we expect that by the following Monday or Tuesday, is in Zambia already. So the Lord bless you real, really good. I want to appreciate each and every one of you for being a partaker of what God is doing. And I want to tell you that you have you are yet to see the ultimate because this is the beginning. We are going somewhere. And I beg of you to be a partaker and not a spectator. I want to thank you for all your support. For those of you that give towards this um, uh, live streaming, a lady was speaking to me from Manchester the other time. And they said, I will send me the account. I didn't even bother sending the account. She was on my neck. And um, I want to say thank you to you. The Lord bless you. Whatever you have given, don't forget it sees your heart. It's not about, oh, because I have a lot, that's why I'm given. Because I don't have, that's why I'm not given. It's about your heart. It sees your heart. It sees your heart. And if you want the kingdom of God to advance in your heart, you will go all the way for God to do all that you've been commanded to do. Once again, I want to say very big thank you to you all wherever you are in America and here in the United Kingdom. The Lord bless you and cause his face to shine upon you. Till will come your way, not next week now, but the following week. I don't know what you are going through, but I want to beg you, keep going and pray through. But before I, I put the music on for you to enjoy for another 10 seconds, don't forget you can link us up on Twitter, Facebook, if you have all this account and YouTube, connect with us. 
start feeding yourself with the word. It's about the word and nothing else. And let me also remind you that Jesus is coming. He's coming. The soon coming king is coming. Be prepared. Make sure you are ready. Because we don't know when the trumpet shall sound. The trumpet is going to sound any time. But make sure you are ready. The Lord bless you once again and cause his face to shine upon you. Thank you, thank you, and God bless you.